Okay, so there are about a thousand reasons why I don't do the things that I'm supposed to do. Somewhere between planning and execution, my desire gets lost and I end up doing basically anything else and then completely resenting myself. And it's so easy to blame social media, my phone, distraction, temptation, all these things around me. But recently I've been thinking, what if I'm the problem? And I don't mean this in a normal way. I mean this in the way that I genuinely think the reason I can't get things done very often is because I am just a really bad manager and I've decided to fire myself. Please let me explain this crazy. What I'm trying to say and the way that I've been looking at things recently is that there are so many different versions of Elizabeth that I need to work with. There's Elizabeth the writer, Elizabeth the speaker, Elizabeth the filmmaker, Elizabeth the editor, Elizabeth the cleaner, Elizabeth the daughter, Elizabeth the reader, Elizabeth the medical student. There are so so many different versions of myself that do so many different jobs. And the thing is, all of these different Elizabeths, they have, they're different people. They have different needs. They work on different schedules. They need different sort of communications. Some want tough love. Some want loving and communicative support. They all have their different goals. And sometimes these goals clash with one another. Some of them hate procrastinating. Some of them love procrastinating. And I have to somehow negotiate with all of these different versions of myself to get anything done. For example, if I need to film this video, the writer Elizabeth needs to script the video and get it checked and ready. Filming Elizabeth needs to get herself ready and the setup up, which takes about 20 minutes. And then she needs to be in the mood to kind of be lighthearted and want to do this thing. And then the editor Elizabeth on the other end needs to be waiting and making sure that everything is in frame. So then she can do her 10, 20 hours of editing after the video is done. And and then there's the reader Elizabeth who just wants to lie in bed and do nothing else. And then there is the working Elizabeth who is thinking about her deadlines. And I need to negotiate with all of these people because it's so likely that on any given day, the filming Elizabeth will just go like, you know what? I don't want to do this. I'm just going to lie in bed and do nothing. And unless I'm able to convince her otherwise, these things just won't get done. So technically I've been thinking, I'm kind of a manager. And the thing is, I am such an awful one. I've never given leave. I've never given holiday. I've never taken a holiday. I am aggressive and I am overbearing and I'm never satisfied with results. And my communication is absolutely awful. I only point out the negative things and I put very, very strict deadlines that I need people to stick to no matter what. And you know what? If I was working in any sort of job, I would be sent straight to HR and then sent straight home. So... I've decided I am going to fire myself as a manager because I am so tired of dealing with someone like this. You know what? I'm going to start researching what makes a good manager and what makes a good communicator and how to inspire people and get them to do things because I need to do this with myself every single day. So I started to think of my different roles and I've gone overboard with this. This is crazy. I, I, I'm serious. I literally went and wrote down different versions or different roles that I have like writer, editor, filmer. And I wrote down what sort of personality these people People have. So as an editor, I like to work into the night. I'm really chill. I usually stick to my deadlines. But as a writer, I'm really lazy. I don't like to be forced to do things. I don't like schedules. So I kind of thought of all the characteristics that I have as these people. And then I thought, okay, if I was a good manager, how would I make my job easier for myself? And honestly, it's been super, super helpful. I've come up with ways to adjust my schedule. I've come up with ways to understand my needs. I've come up with ways to understand the trauma and the pressure and the baggage that all of these roles have and kind of help them develop into themselves. I'm completely letting go of that forceful, abusive voice in my mind. And also this new manager that I'm looking for, I think I'm going to force her to take holiday sometimes, which means days where I don't do absolutely anything. And I know this sounds groundbreaking, but it is groundbreaking for me. So I'm going to take time off both as a manager, both as an employee with myself. And hopefully this will make it easier for me to kind of have a good time and <laughs> um, get more things done and be a bit less frustrated with myself and also have a bit less of a frustrated voice in my head. So yeah, I wanted to put this way of thinking out there at the expense of my self-esteem and my public image, just in case it resonates with anyone else. And in the end of the day, I know we're just talking about doing things and having fun in life. And it's not that simple. Serious. But I do think that sometimes certain frameworks do make ways of approaching life and ways of thinking of yourself a lot easier. So yeah, um, there we go. Let me know if you have ever thought this way. It would be really reassuring to know that I'm not the only person on earth. But otherwise, <laughs> thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to yourself and others and don't believe everything you think. Thanks. Bye.